Sir, what's the UK average man? We have now when your car acquaintance be a any of four. And now, sir, a docket of washer, one one show me right claim with me a boy. Wama, what you see, can pimp in the brain. Your UK a lawyer for it through, and I say a cuckoo down for I'm betting me a boy. I'm to move my mouth. Because it's a we see can of a bar. And one is a over called www.rightclaims.co.uk. Now, our fellow of form, who bets me a fray and one number ya a woof idea. Say I cancel a flight, and now say when your flight delay for over down shrimp, may try three hours and come back. Right claims with me a boama, a hansu wajisika. Right claims, it's as simple as that. Grace select glucometer from Costless Ventures. Safi de kitu ya eti mimpo e show boto me e boa ma uhunu u sugar level abribia. Wana uwa diabetes anayaria hodwa e mo u sugar level. Eso te wa brano brano no. Safi de ebe bo unka ye bebi bia uwo bia no wada wansuwa ku huu doktor antem. No amuwa dry biti mima blood sugar no aye pepe epe. With Green Select Blood Glucose Monitoring System, you get your test results in 5 seconds. Anyo 5 seconds per now results are ready. And it's suitable for persons of all age. Nani boa so de? Mmm, that the fuck? What people think who you are? Saw pe bako, ana saw pe so tu koton. Call Costless Ventures now on 0205-915-315. Ogreen Select Glucometer. The best. This advert has been inverted and approved by the FDA. Okay, so the action on radio is what I give to you anytime you see me sitting like this here on Samiflex TV. And because I know sometimes you are so busy during the day, you don't even get time to listen to what we do on radio. I have introduced this particular segment called the highlights of Showbiz Agenda. Here, what I do is whatever we did on Xylophone 102.1 FM on a special program called Showbiz Agenda, I give you all the highlights. I know you might not have time to listen to on a three hour program. So what I do is I come down, call my team and we say that people would want to hear this, they want to see this, we piece them together for you to enjoy. It is called the highlights of Showbiz Agenda. So today's episode is going to give you one of such taken from Xylophone FM's Showbiz Agenda. All that you have to do is to sit, relax, enjoy and still get the moment just as it was live on radio. I did this with my team led by Digital Rasta Currency, Richie Flex, Yan Lapiji, Nana Reagan, Intim Dodo Solomon, aka Chamo, and MC Berima as well. Now you have to relax and anytime you want to know what is happening on Xylophone FM, this is what you have to do. Subscribe to this channel, Sammy Flex TV, get all the updates and even if you are not able to listen to what we do on radio, you get a chance to watch it here on Summit Flex TV later. Enjoy the moment and you can always share your comments with us here on the show. Enjoy and let's do more. We out. Ani eya no kure wapo mudin hu hia enu nti ne ho akoh hia sa wo be hwe hu so yie wo bra no bra no ne mra mu odin ameto wo mpofiri now permit me to introduce you to green select glucometer green select glucometer from costless ventures sa fi die kitu ya etimi mpo e hwe boto me e boa ma hu hu sugar level abribia wona wo diabetes ana yare ahodo a e ma sugar level eso te wo bra no bra no sa fi die be bo nka ye be bibia wo bia no wada wo so akoh hu doctor ntem na wo mu dry bit me ma blood sugar no aye pepe pepe with Green Select Blood Glucose Monitoring System, you get your test results in 5 seconds. Annual 5 seconds per now results are ready. And it's suitable for persons of all age. Nani boa so de? Mmm, that the fuck? Mwa pe budin hu yao. Sa upe bako, ana sa upe so utu koton. Call Costless Ventures now on 0205-915-315. Oh fry, ebe chia wye on office e ben wagana fanai baby ya. Na uni wane dija. Green Select Glucometer. The best. This advert has been inverted and approved by the FDA. His name is Yonda. Big man, welcome to the studio. Yeah, I'm alright. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm feeling you already, man. I'm feeling you and your super yeah, your super crew here. Uh, how, how are you enjoying Ghana? Is this your first time here? No, uh, I've been here like three, four times, but you know, um, this last time I'm coming, the immigration keep asking, why is your passport saying um, this is the first time? I'm like, yo, I probably lost my passport. I got a new one. It should probably see on your computer. And it was beginning to be a long story. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So you are using a new passport. Yeah. Uh, so when they saw it, they thought it was your first time That's coming time, here. Yeah. Uh, they shouldn't have asked you this question. I swear to God. <laughs> you know, let me even report one of your immigration officer. Uh huh. 
Allah 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I understand I, I don't understand that but, but, but I also agree okay. This is something they should know So for instance If you get to uh, UK immigration Heathrow airport You don't have to tell them How many times you've come there Honestly Like they know Well yeah it's where it is uh, they, they can ask you Africa. So in 2012 You came to London What did you come to do? You know, we're yeah, Africa, man. you know. Yeah, so then, our system is somewhere though. Yeah. Uh, but we'll be fine, we'll coming be fine. from where I'm coming from, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, where yeah. I'm coming from. So it's not a new thing. Uh, but but we can start a competition now. Our airport is better than Nigeria's <laughs> airport. Uh, most definitely. Uh-huh. That one you admit, yeah, yeah, yeah. that our airport is way better. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, and your airport, the guys, the immigration guys, they, 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 they yeah. know they play you. Vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> vice, vice versa. Nigeria to have, you know, things compared to Ghana. But yeah, it's, it's meant to be like that. You know, it can't just be tilted to one side. Mm. You know, there mm. has to be beauty in this side. You mm. have to see beauty from this side. So yeah. it's meant to be But like Ghana that. immigration is very soft. Uh, you can't compare Ghana immigration to Nigeria's immigration. Uh, Nigeria immigration, if you, even if you want to visit the loo, you have I to think, pay I for T row. It's the same thing, honestly. It's if you want thing. to visit the loo, you have to pay for T row. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but I think it's the same thing, honestly, because you, uh-huh, uh-huh. you know, there's this, um, this, um, um, this, um, um, similarities. Mm-hmm, it's just that mm-hmm. Ghanaians are more chewed and, yeah, um, yeah, and that's Nigerians true. Are very talking aggressive. Talking to myself, talking mm-hmm. to myself. Mm-hmm. Nigerians are more forward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and mm-hmm. Nigerians are, Ghanaians are more chilled. And it doesn't mean chill, I mean, doesn't mean you're slow. Mm-hmm. It just means um, probably you're just calculating. Before we make you movement. know. And yeah, yeah it, might, it doesn't mean Nigerians are too far, it doesn't mean Nigerians are uh, aggressive. Mm-hmm. It just mm-hmm. mean um, you know, we're not, uh, it just mean I'm not talking for myself. It just mean I'm not, <laughs> um, you know, I'm not. Maybe I'm just too fast to calculate to uh-huh. make my step. Maybe uh-huh. that's what it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know. It is, it is, it is. Yonder, I'm so happy to have you here. I yeah, think I've pleasure. heard so much about you, um, especially your composition skills and the fact that do you know out of you I understood who is a musician and who is a singer? <laughs> Initially, I thought it was oh, just a simple conversation. So I don't know if we can go into that a little bit, uh, asking your understanding of who a musician is and who a singer is. So we can even start the conversation. A singer is um, a choir. <laughs> yeah. Yonder, you are funny. And, and, um, a musician. Uh-huh. It's someone that has the um, craft. First of all, mm-hmm. you have to be intelligent as a musician. Mm. You know, like when someone listens to what you write or what you're singing, that person can. That person, it, the, those lyrics can eat different mm. in the skin. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. those lyrics can be sensitive enough to um, make even someone that is not um, um, maybe um, um, spiritually or physically or psychologically sensitive. But yeah, that person could just. Uh, pick some words because you're not just saying mere words like oh um like a like a choir would say like a choir would go to church and say jesus i love you you do well i thank you those are just basic words you know so what makes you a musician is the um fact you can bring in metaphors proverbs similes um you know all of that and then um, make them um break, put it um arrange them in a way they they have rhymes and you know um if you have to make them what they not necessarily have to mm. have what place mm. you know mm. there have to be some sort of poetry in in what your you're doing composition make, um the limb or the basic man that is not okay. doing music mm. um not dread you but admire your craft mm. Mm. so you are a through and through musician most definitely i see do you play any instrument mm-hmm. as I, mm-hmm. I play the guitar oh you play the guitar I fumble around the keyboard <laughs> you play the guitar but you fumble around the keyboard yeah. but it's okay now one history that today i want people to know is the fact that you are the guy who composed songs great great songs for um a huge artist here in africa and i want dj sticker to play some songs even before we talk about that so this song was composed by the gentleman sitting before me in the studio you can simply call him yonder that is the name that i want you to call him don't bother about the other one because you might not even be able to pronounce it just call him yonder he great guy yonder yonder congrats now because these two songs are very big i want to believe you are also very rich (laughs) <laughs> because okay. th- these two songs are very big and coming from one of the uh, biggest in africa as well 
and being the one behind it i know over there the split sheet and other things are working so i want to believe yonder is huge in terms of the account yes <laughs> 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 oh, you were you were slow in saying yes. Like the vim, I was expecting it you to say like that. You, yeah, it didn't sound like a Nigerian. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was just being typical Ghana because you know you, uh, they say uh, you do as the room does when you when you uh, Rome. You go, you, when you go to Rome, yeah. Okay, when you go to Rome, uh-huh. you do like a Roman when you uh-huh. go to Rome. Yeah, uh-huh. that's uh-huh. the right word. Oh, so you were just taking it cool. Yeah, you know. I see. But how, how did you meet the video? How did they all start with you? Ah, yo, cool story. Mm-hmm. Um. But before I met David, you know, there's been a lot of um, ghost writing here and there. I don't care if there's um, um, yo, a contract or uh, proof that I wrote this song. Or I don't even care if you're going to tell the world I wrote this song. I just, sometimes I just write song for a particular person and I just walk away. You know, then, <laughs> then David used to call me. Mm, please talk to your mic. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. You know, um, so you know when you're doing stuff low key on the street, it's mm-hmm. definitely going to get to um, the topmost ear, and they will sort for you. And um, when I come around, the first I remember the first time David met me, uh, you know we did a song that was she's in she's in studio, mm-hmm. we did a song and the song was fe- was um, David and I mean um, Lil Cash featuring David O, but it was David I wrote for and he gave it to. That was the first song. Mm-hmm. You know, after then, I would just disappear. Like, I would, I wouldn't even care to want to come back or, you know, want to come and disturb you for realities. But yeah, mm-hmm. that led to, um, you know, um, we talking about signing. Mm-hmm. But that also led to, you know, me knowing, uh, me knowing or everyone seeing my side of um, um, artistry in mm-hmm. music writing. Mm-hmm. So I ponder on that then. Even my own song itself. You okay. Know, there was no. I, I wasn't promoting my song. So, so what exactly did David see or hear first before your first contact with him? Because think, at I least think, he must think, have. He must have was, known something that yeah, he done. I think done it before. was uh, one Dami Crane song. Let me say, I mean you, I mean, Do you know who Dami Crane is? Mm, yeah, I know Dami Crane. Yeah. 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 yeah, mm. yeah. You know, um, um, we co-wrote. Me and him co-wrote that song. And mm. that time, as at that time. Um, I was really, I was, I was, I was, I was really, I was nowhere close to mainstream. So, mm-hmm. like, even me then didn't care if he was going to put my name as part of the right. I knew he didn't, but yeah, till now, I swear, I didn't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bothered. It's just that you're asking me, you know, yeah, I have of to say course. It as it is. We have to know the yeah, story. I think that was um, how David, you know, I think that was what David heard about me, you know, like, yeah, let him come through. Let him, I want to sing. Mm, mm, I see. But were you signed on to his DMW label? Yes, of course. How many years did you sign? Two years. Two years. Uh, were you signed on to just write, or you were also signed to perform was, as a singer? I was. I was signed. I was mainly signed as an artist. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um. For brother love's sake, you know. But and um, um, that became more of my duty. And um, I wouldn't say I forgot my own particular song, but that became more of my duty. And um, I just um. Not carelessly, but I reluctantly dropped my own song because I need to go back to what my duty was, you know. Mm-hmm. So at some point, I began to have too many fans that were hungry for my music. Thank mm-hmm. you very much, you know. Mm-hmm. They were hungry for too much of my music. So that was when I started seeing the, um, not started seeing the artistic, not just started seeing the artistic side of me, but started seeing um, the hunger. I've stopped my fans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. that led to. Uh, me dropping a body of work, White Blue Yonder. Mm-hmm. You know? that, that was your first under the label. That, that was no, your first no, body of work. No, no, no. Body of work. Mm-hmm. If you say body of work, yeah, that was it. Mm-hmm. You know? But when, if you say singles, you have dropped like three, four singles and some other collaborations. Mm. You know, if you, if I'm going to talk about uh, what I've contributed um, in uh, Afro beats in general, you know, I've um, my first single, my first single Las Vegas. Had Bonner Boy the Grammy Award winning on it straight up in mm-hmm. less than I mean I dropped it and you know we had remix in less than two months, mm. you know mm. I, I, and um, coming from DMW I'm the I'm the I'm the only artist that you know dropped a single and got a, f- a remix from outside um, a remix like the only artist that's dropped a single and had a remix mm. there, but yeah um, it's all um, it's 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 not really prolific because. Those songs are not always well promoted, you know. Okay. My strengths were more. On, oh, I need to impress this person. I need to impress this person, you mm. know. 
um, this person needs to get to this uh, sp uh, particular position in the uh, in the game chart. But yeah, um, now we're here, and um, it's a new chapter. <coughs> What what can you say about your contribution on the video's platinum album, A Good Time? Good Time? Mm -hmm. um, I was the beginning, I was the middle, and I was the end. The whole album? That's what I'm you saying. were the beginning, the middle, and the yeah. end? Yeah. And at that time, you were still signed on to... No, uh, my contract has finished. Oh, so, you even, your contribution on that album was even at the time that your contract had ended? Yes. I see. So what was the agreement then, since you were not on the label? Um mainly it's like this you're signed to your contract that gets by as long as you're cool okay so there is a photo of um the las vegas remix yeah, really with uh, Benna boy on our facebook feed yeah. um ladies and gentlemen you can go check that out thanks to emeka okpara for giving us that information the las vegas remix with uh Benna boy there is a photo there maybe you can also go listen yeah, to it go check it out this was in 2017 okay great mm. You know, so um, back to what I was saying. Um, yes, I was asking about what agreement you signed with Davido for the A Good Time album, though you were not on the label then. Yeah, you know, I told you something. I said, <laughs> um, don't uh, think I'm an idiot for that. It's just that um, as long as um we're all working together i don't i'm this type of person that i don't really want to i don't really i'm not too much about oh let's sign a contract i have to get this i just um i, I let it be on you know what let it be a favor for favor thing you know the, but that's it you want to return favor for mm -hmm. favor mm -hmm. you know? so it's left to every one of us but yeah uh most of us under the label contract has actually expired you know mm -hmm. Most of us, I think, if any, except for the new ones that just signed, you know. So this is how it runs, you know. When your contract expires, it's just left for you to still use um, the DMW logo in your videos and in your mm -hmm. song, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, 2017, I was signed, and by 2019, it's finished, you know. But that was after the album. Was mm. So, so if I understood what you really you are saying, there wasn't any formal agreement on your contribution on the A Good Time album. There wasn't any formal agreement for you as uh, a contributor who was part of the beginning, the middle, and the end. There wasn't any formal understanding or document between you and the video. Is that what you want to say? No, there wasn't. Oh, I see. And uh, out of his goodwill, did he also give you something that you could say, yeah, this was substantial. I'm so happy about what he's given yeah, me. Most definitely. We all know David is generous. Yeah, it's, that's what I've heard. I've not gotten anything from him, though. But I've heard he's very generous. So what did he give you exactly? <laughs> uh, you've seen the 30 billion gang chain in my neck. Uh -huh. That's Diamond from Xbox. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, let's don't go into <laughs> details. Let's just you know, move. <laughs> but I know for every artist, when you are on a good label, a well structured label, you would always want your contract to be renewed. Uh, yonder, did you not want that when your first two year contract with no one, DM? No, no one, no one, no one is, no one has been, there's no time any artist contract uh, expire and it's been renewed. Be, what's it called? Renewed. Renewed. Mm -hmm. There's no time. It's never happened in DMW. Oh, okay. You know? So because after your after your contract finish, you can as long as you're cool with um, everyone there. As long as you know there's no fuel. You know everyone is. You know you keep using every advantage you can take from the DM from the label. Mm -hmm. You know so so why do uh, why do you or why do you have to re sign the contract? Mm -hmm. You know when you can even uh, sprout out your own. Um, leave it from there, mm. you know. But DMW is big enough to still want to use as, as an umbrella. Okay. But most time, your contract finishes, and um, you still use the um, DMW logo. Mm -hmm. and new artist comes there to meet mm -hmm. you, and you know, sign mm -hmm. a new contract. Mm. I see. So, what what is your relationship, your current relationship with them now like? Are you still friends? Because you keep talking about using their logo, using their logo. Because I, I, I still don't get that. If you are not with them, why do you continue to use their logo? So what is your relationship with them now? What, uh, what do you expect me to do? If uh, what would you have done if you have um, worked or uh, sued your back right? Let mm -hmm. me use that word. Or uh, mm -hmm. if I don't want to use that word, if you had worked um, for a particular, um, a particular, okay, a particular company like this company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, even if and you are no more with them yeah even if you're going to step out um, because you know you've worked there mm -hmm. and um, even this company can't even can't even 
come out and ask you or can't even drag you on it mm, they they can they can yeah they can if you're not if you're not working with them anymore you cannot use some some things of this that one you can't Un unless you have that agreement with them that okay anywhere you go you can pose as a xylophone media person okay this is what i'm saying mm -hmm. um um that's the benefit we've always gained being a dmw artist okay you know is, is it an official agreement yeah definitely that anytime you are talking about music you can always bring in dmw i have um proofs on in my instagram uh, andu or my instagram account mm -hmm. but that does not even warrant it but mm -hmm. i have proof that i was signed there so mm -hmm. you know as long as um you uh, i was signed by contract and then um, this is it. the same thing i'm just saying like mm -hmm. even people that were there before me that uh, got signed before me are still there mm -hmm. you know not there like by contract yeah are there by you know as long as your friendship people, or relationship uh, you know, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's just a friendship benefit. so at the moment don't you have any okay so once again there's um a photo of um okay. yonder doing uh, his signing hey <laughs> make out para I don't know what preparation you did before this interview, no, man. <laughs> Chale, the guy is a wild guy, it. man. <laughs> okay, so Emeka has provided a photo of Yonder the day he was signing with uh, Davido. Oh, uh, this is also clear. Uh, just that my confusion is why Yonder will still be using their logos. That is my confusion. But he tells me yeah, it is uh, it is something you can simply do without stress. So no problem. So now, don't you have any label? Don't you have any new label? Um were you uh what's the point of me going to get a new label where i was under the, the 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 most influential the biggest label in africa out of africa because you are no more with them officially they don't handle your business anymore so you have to move on to get maybe a flex entertainment label no, or something is a, is a is a management company <laughs> and that's it so i have a management company magic and and scoop universal so um with the dmw logo in all i do so why am i gonna step stoop so low to jump on a uh on a on a lower label again mm. so what it means is that you are keeping the dmw logo for pride sake but not for what they are giving you because you are talking about why should you go in for a lower label um i want to believe maybe you are just keeping the logo because yeah you feel so no, proud I about it i said for benefits for you know, it's, bene <laughs> it's beneficial to me yeah you know which have um 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 is on google like there's proof to it mm. uh, i've worked really really to mm. the same level mm. but can, can someone inter misinterpret it to be um impersonation impersonation uh -huh. no okay <laughs> like there's a proof like so, something just came on your screen yeah just, which is past which is expired it is expired As maybe uh-huh <laughs> yonder uh-huh if um um the people everything i do mm -hmm. the label says it as long as they're not complaining it means there's a reason why they're not complaining okay okay so they see it and they, they are cool so yes. you, you are just feeling free okay so now after have you released your own songs have you released any body of work yet after uh, officially exiting dmw yeah that, the, the same um the same that's the same white blue yonder i told you about okay you know and that's coming from um you know uh, the previous work with uh i've done i've written you know so you know it all led to fans asking for more mm -hmm. and asking for my own personal project <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Yanda, when was this released? When, when was this released? I came out with the, uh, December. I came out with the uh, White Blue Yonder EP, mm -hmm. December 11, I think so. Mm. Yeah, some time around that time. Okay, okay. And um, this was after you exited the uh, the, the video label, or before, or before you even joined it. Listen, my um, exiting um, the label mm -hmm. was because I was violated in some. Um, ways that I'm not talking about yeah mm -hmm. but yeah it wasn't like um I was thrown out mm -hmm. no um I was I was I was really really disrespected and then that's the most I'm going to say about it because it's not music it has nothing to do with music mm. but yeah um disrespected by the CEO or some of the people on the label let's just leave it that way mm. no I understand but what I mean is is it by the CEO yeah, or just yeah. anybody by 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 um it's a panel thing you know and it's really really been political you know so um oh most, okay yeah it's, as in a management decision yeah, yeah it's a management decision so the most i could do um is to um you know is to walk away mm -hmm. you know and then um, um do my music 
regardless if um you know i'm being mm. um because after you know you can you could feel like after all what you've done you know da, 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 and there's no like no one is paying attention mm -hmm. to your own particular craft yeah most especially this time where your mm. fans are asking for more mm. and then um, you know um honestly um that's just what it is <laughs> okay dj sticker i'm sure we still have more to talk about with yonder and um there are more maybe he would want to also not say but uh, he will say everything yonder will say everything we, we want to know him because he's building a ghana fan base so let's get ready for this one yonder baby yonder, i want us to do something i want you to sing this one without the instrumentation because um the, 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 when you come to a language um the twer 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 could also be something else so i want you <laughs> <laughs> I say my baby kere goma baby kere goma toy oh kere goma toy kere goma toy kere goma toy hey yo and that's toy and, and what is toy toy is uh, don't be deceived uh. so elegon is um, a deceiver uh -huh. don't let a deceive, uh, deceiver manipulate you uh -huh. so like my baby don't be deceived uh -huh. you know like yeah i'm saying the real shit in your ears i said my Please. baby don't be deceived yeah. that is my na 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 toy yeah kere goma toy kere um yonder we have to do an a cappella of this one because the way you want someone to squirt on you like a fountain i'm now scared because the fountain if you're not careful you even be drowned in it you have to be a pro at it but, but let's sing it let's sing let's sing uh fella picking oh no no i i I want us to understand something. I said, I said it's, uh -huh. a, it's, a, it's a metaphoric. I know, I know, I know, I know. I fuck two sisters. Mm. No wonder. Mm -hmm. A pussy familia. Mm -hmm. One white, one black. Girl, I would you like zebra? Mm -hmm. Because zebra is a white and black. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Baby, don't fake orgasm. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you want. Huh? Mm -hmm. Faking orgasm, I know this is causing. I know this is causing. It's faking orgasm. Baby, don't fake orgasm. Let me know what you want. Huh? Faking orgasm, I know this is causing. I know this is causing. Me. Baby, I see blessing in everything. She want to slow. Last day she drink some Benelin. Miss Kukudin, Fela Bikin, Better Bikin, Avid Aluka, Santa Monica. Uzana Sutana in Kiruka. Uh, Squat on me like a fountain or river. Mm. I mean, what I, I want to team by your river. Hey. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. So, Yana, have you performed in Ghana before? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm. I don't remember what show it was. Mm, mm. Uh, your mic, always talk to your mic, please. Yeah, you mm. know, I, most definitely I would. You know, I'm just trying to remember what show it was because, you know, mm. like. Did, did you perform with Davido? Was it a concert that the video was also featured on? Probably. Okay. Probably. Yeah, because he has performed here in Ghana on countless Probably. occasions. No, 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 no. Not, uh, not, well, not with him. No, no. No. Mm. no. Uh, and most time I come to Ghana is mostly... The last time I, co I came to Ghana mm -hmm. was um, me coming to work on Good Time album. Okay. You know, it was host of me and producers. But it was... I was the only artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that day, mm -hmm, this time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, likes of Sags, mm -hmm. um, Fresh, Rexy, okay, um, Spiroj, where the producers there, yeah, and um, you know, uh, that was um, that was um, that was how I wrote um, that was where it was here in Ghana. I wrote um, the first verse of intro. Mm -hmm. Everything I do is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I say make I use my diplomacy. I'm a shooting star in a blockbuster. I'm a young stoner. I'm mm. a stockbroker. So many haters. You know, I flow. That, I wrote this year. You wrote that in Ghana. Ghana, and I wrote um, um, New Broom Go Sweet Better, which is the second verse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some years back mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are like two different songs combined together to make one song. Mm, I see. You know, that was the beginning of the Good Time album I was talking about. Mm, I see. Now, I know right now your presence here in Ghana, you're also working with some producers, JMJ, Extra Large Music and Co. Are you guys up to something? Are you guys cooking something with him? Most definitely. There's there's no way we're going to, uh, you know, um, meet up with, link up with, you know, J Master J and um, you just want to waste that opportunity or just waste that time. Mm, you mm. know, waste that, um, you know, like, 
um, um, creativity is, is 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 wild, you know. I it's know. Limited, mm. but yeah, that's why uh, we have to, you know. Um, Are you likely you know, to be signed on to his extra large oh. music? Am I a little bit signed on to <laughs> his extra large record label? No, 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 no. Uh, because I thought that that was how you were here. Uh, because he is also around and uh, he's also a label boss. Mm. Maybe he wants to sign you, knowing how strong and huge you are said, in the he African said, music circuit. Prefer a female artist. I, I don't know why he likes female artists all the time. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> I think I think um, it's a thing. Uh, it's a thing. But you know, you know, we uh, male artists, male artists are, are very, yeah. are very. He actually brought one lady in recent times, though. Yeah, uh, I, I don't she know. She blew. She blew. She. Amalina. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we didn't see her face though. Uh, just that we were listening to her songs. Uh, uh, party, party, and all those stuff. <laughs> Welcome to the ganja party. <laughs> okay, um, you know, um, after um, white blue yonder, mm-hmm. so what's next? Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm just gonna talk to. I'm just gonna talk to my fans in Nigeria and uh, people that knows me here in Nigeria. I, I mean, Ghana. Ghana. Mm-hmm. If you don't know uh, yonder, um, if you don't know any of yonder music. I'm sure you would know Ajay, Ajay, Ajay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Did you think I didn't have that one? Yeah, the third, uh, the third person was that's me. That's a uh, Davido, Perusi, and Yonder. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, so mm-hmm. and I think Ajay is a really big song here in, in Ghana. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, so um. Like I just and you, you did a third verse on that song. Yes. Okay, so I'm sure my DJ will get that if so we listen to it. Okay, let me come to my panel members. They have been observing the conversation. I'm sure they would have a word or two before Yonder leaves us. Um, and then Mesa Chatome is finally in the studio. And um, I have Yao Gray who has been here. Let's talk about Yonder, his exploit so far. Mm. Well, I, as you can see, I'm in black, black. Yeah, we are all in black. Oh, today, we are mourning our brother. <laughs> DJ advice of Happy FM who passed some few you know weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. You know today is a one week and I will be happening at the forecourt of Happy FM at mm. Asylum Down. So mm. we'll uh, go through and support. Um, I've listened to the conversation and uh, a lot of things were going through my mind mm-hmm. uh, regarding him and uh, DMW. What I see is that. As somebody who has, uh, who feels he has a, ta- a lot of talent in him, mm-hmm. and he was signed to a label, mm-hmm. and he worked so hard for the label and made a lot of big things happen, mm-hmm. but he feels he was not given the necessary attention, mm-hmm. and uh, after the contact, uh, contract ended, he moved on, but he feels that he deserved more. Mm. than they gave him mm. and mm. and being there he had some sort of love or fans from the video and after he had left though there are issues there he feels that he doesn't want to lose that the video fans so he doesn't want to bring out issues mm. and you, if you if you there are more he can see yes right? I, was, I was because i've seen a couple of times where his team are trying to hit his leg <laughs> and they will be doing some giving him uh, signs Fuman and you know because he wants to like it's natural they, they just so, apply the bricks yeah, he, the he bricks. wants to pour out things but he feels that it may create some tension uh, between him and uh, his former label yeah and he wants to like remain calm mm. but i think for everything to end it will be better he takes off the dmw because if your contrast has ended you are no more with them and you keep using wherever you go for interviews and others mm. that backtrack will come so you go for your interview and it will be overshadowed with issues regarding mm. them DMV. so it will be better he takes us off mm-hmm. he believes in his craft he should believe in himself he shouldn't live in their shadows he should believe in himself move on the video might start with somebody he might start under somebody he believed in himself and he fronted his own thing later on and now he's a bigger star mm. so who mm. knows mm. he can also move out of the court mm-hmm. yeah now he's out he can take off the scarf off his face mm-hmm. and believe in his brand and take up the fight mm. Mm. he might be the 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 the, uh, the david mm-hmm. 
who, in future. Who fought Goliath? Yeah, so <laughs> he should he should move on. Okay. Now that he believes that he is no more with them, mm-hmm. and he feels they did not maybe give him a fair deal, deal mm. or they didn't pay that much attention to him, regardless of the contribution, he should it should rather inspire him mm-hmm. to to prove upon him that this is what you didn't pay attention to that I wasn't happy about. Mm. Have you seen? So, I know he has that sort of uh, drip hip-hop mm-hmm. style. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that is accepted in Nigeria. Mm. How, how is this kind of music accepted in Nigeria? The acceptance of mm. the drill hip-hop? He, he, he is more Afrobeat. He's more he, Afrobeat. Mm. Um, mm. Mm. Yanda, your mind. Yeah, that drip, drip, drip mm-hmm. thing. I can't, I can't decide to um, um, look at you as a musician. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, it doesn't matter the kind of music you do. And mm-hmm. I write you a perfect song. Mm-hmm. It's just that this is what me I love the most. So what I love the most is what are the... Sure. Uh, Impl- uh, is what I implement into my own music, you know. Mm, mm, you know, I like mm. it to be a bit western. I yeah. like it to be a bit urban. I like it to be a bit yeah. indigenous. I like it. I like to cover everywhere. Yeah. I like, you know, I want to eat some R and B notes and still give you some flows like a rapper, but you know, sing. Do you understand? Sure. So I just want to touch everywhere. Okay. Mm, mm, all right. Mm. So I think I wish him all the best. Nice. No, it's not easy to feel you've you've contributed to the growth of something and. You are not, you are not giving the necessary attention. It pains, All but right. uh, he shouldn't give up on himself. All right. Thank you so much, Adam Mason Chatterman. He is an entertainment journalist. Yao Gray is also an artist. And I'm sure uh, from an artist's perspective, we will listen to what Yao Gray has to say. Yeah, I respect him a lot as far as the artist is concerned. Mm-hmm. Listening to him, I can see what he can do. Mm-hmm. But, and I. I think Adam also said most of the things that I would love to say. And all I can say is it's a journey. Mm-hmm. It's a journey. He has to understand it's a journey. He got to a point where he has to leave because at the end of the day, he's going to get married and leave his family back home. Mm-hmm. So leaving a label behind and not having anything to do with it is not anything. Tr- strange thing. Yeah. And the good thing about it is it's not just any label. Mm-hmm. So it's okay for you to jump from there to be able to do your own stuff. I believe in what he's doing. I respect him uh, like a lot. You know, I've been seeing a lot of comments, but I would say his style is not really what Ghanaian ear really can just hear once and just accept. Mm. But as they were listening to a couple of tracks from him, they started, you know, getting the feel and understanding him more. And I, I, I can say he will have a lot of tracks online that when people listen to him, they really get to understand him. Maybe he's not having that good day people will expect him to have on this show right now to say mm-hmm. the right things or the perfect things they want to hear him say. We all, it's, and I'm not saying he's having a bad day, mm. but really he can't feed everybody mm. with what they mm. want to hear mm. as an artist. Mm. And I love how he is like, I can see he's a straightforward person. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but being a straightforward person comes with a lot of being careful. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. understand? A lot of being careful because you wouldn't like to say certain things that transpired on the label. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But what is happening right now here is saying a lot of things happen, but you wouldn't, you would never love to talk about it. Mm. You know what I mean? So to me, if you don't want to talk about it, don't really be about it. Mm. I respect his hustle as an artist. I like how he is. I feel like when me and this guy is in the studio, you, you can do some He's got too much ideas. Well, it is too not late. Ideas. It is not late. You know, I, it is I not late. You guys him. can still so, do something. So, bro, yo. Don't stop. I know say stop no day or dictionary inside. Mm-hmm. Break mm-hmm. self for no day inside. Just <laughs> deal with the traffic signs you go mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. But just step on and do what you do. And mm-hmm. I hope we meet at the top, you know. Yeah. Now th- th- there is some there is an observation I have made. Maybe on that you can tell me it is not true. Um it is so obvious that you are still bitter about the DMW experience. Um the bitterness has not left you. I'm the best in my craft around there, so I'm not bitter about anything. Mm. Knowing that alone, mm-hmm. I'm just, um, you know, I'm just um, not curious, but I'm just surprised at the fact that, okay, um, um, you're just a regular human, like you're just the regular human I've always met. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I'm just surprised at it because, you know, at some point in the beginning, um, I didn't want to take the contract, but I didn't want to go. I'm not going there it's either. I'm just going to give you why I said I'm just surprised. You know, I didn't want to take the contract because, you know, so many things were too good to be true. So when I said I was, I'm just surprised that, you know, um, you're just being human like every human I've ever met. It means, you know, I didn't want to take the contract. That was because... Um, so many things weren't just you know when you know, uh, DMW is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a big deal. Mm. It's a big deal, and then I know it is. There's a way you're gonna uh, you want to get signed, and you're like, no, this is just too good to be true. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna give it a try. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, um, uh, what it led to, um, you know, going back. Well, it's what it is. Yeah, the, the, the expectations, the expectations were not bitter. met. Yeah, yeah. So being bitter is different from, you know, um, when you're surprised, when you're surprised at something. Mm, I get but it. yeah, um, that's for that. Let me talk about um, um, my next project, mm -hmm. After White Blue Yonder. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called SOS. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, my bad. Mm -hmm. Son of that's the Soil. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Son S -O -S. of the Soil. S-O-S. S-O-S. Son know. of the Soil. Of the Soil. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so um, um, that's the next thing about Yonder. Okay, and uh, when is that coming? Um, before this year. Before this out. year end. Okay, so I know you are in Ghana. Have you done some collaborations already on the SOS, or uh, are you planning to do some collaborations with some Ghanaian artists on the SOS? Most, de most definitely, but right now I'm just still, you know, uh, listening to everybody, listening to Ghanaian radios, mm -hmm. listening to a Ghanaian playlist mm -hmm. on Apple. Like, you know, that's just what. Mm -hmm. what have have you spotted some some artists already that after listening, maybe for the few days or few times that you've listened, have you spotted some Ghanaian artists that you would want to do something with them in the future? I'm still watching. So none yet. I'm still watching. Wow. So what it means that none as it stands now, no one has impressed you yet. Because I've not. No. Before I came here, I've always I've had people I uh, I um, uh, I'm a fanatic to. I'm a fan of. Mm -hmm. You know. Like who and who? Yeah, I love them. Mm -hmm. Shatawali, mm -hmm. um, um, Stone Boy. Mm. You know. Um, 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 it, it, it hosts them. Uh, so so many of them. Uh, okay. Um, well, mm -hmm. Was um. What's his first rapper name? Uh, Sakode. Sakode. Mm. I love them. Kiki, mm. you know, um, mm. Becca, Sister Deborah, you mm. know, so many of them. Wow. You know, um, but yeah, this time, I don't just want to, because there's something about music. You know, when, whenever, whatever, whoever you're hearing from wherever you are does not necessarily have to be the best artist. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get you it. Know, so now it's me. I'm not get your coming right. to, I'm not coming to, um, to, 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 to go to through the same route, every everyone I've just come to. Okay, yeah, I'm coming to him, the Shatawali. I'm coming to him. Yeah, I'm gonna end up aiming the Shatawali. But yeah, I still wanna, I still wanna listen to everyone first. Wow, wow, that that that's very positive because there are some younger artists who also have enough talent. So I like this idea of you listening around and whoever will catch your attention, you bring him on. That is very perfect. Which, which state do you represent in Nigeria? Ocean State. Oshun State. Oshun State. Oshun. Oh, Oshun State. Oh, and it's yonder very huge there. Does he control all the numbers in Oshun State? No, because <laughs> I was born and brought up. And coming from what we said before, you said it's yonder, yonder very huge there. Mm -hmm. Um, this is pretty much like a new chapter for yonder. Okay. It means um, the other chapters is closed. Were are closed mm -hmm. and they were not rosy. Mm -hmm. And besides, I, I, I'm a person that was, that was born and brought up in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was even, it was a show that took me to a show for the first time. Not like his hometown. You know, I don't know how you run it here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Maybe where you're, where you, this is, you have to leave where you're born and brought up. Mm -hmm. Or where you're, you're, where you're originated from. Mm -hmm. No, in Nigeria, you can be, you can be from Oshu and n might have never been to Oshu before. Oh, yeah, it, it is like that in Ghana as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, we all live here in Accra, but we yeah, were but not so, born here. Yeah. Uh -huh, so, so I've been to like Oshun, that. but yeah, I've always been to, I've always, I've always just, I've, whenever I go to Oshun, mm. it's for a show, it's the sake of a show. You know, I so. see. Well, when it comes to classification of artists in Nigeria, A, B, C, where will um, Yonder be? Um, it's different between when um, you rate yourself from Instagram followers mm -hmm. and when you rate yourself from um, actual fan base actual fan base <laughs> you know um, for now I would say C you, you'll be yeah. in the C class yeah, yeah. I would say C that's okay because 
Mm -hmm. I've been doing less of uh, the music promotion. I'm doing more of, you know, contributing to, um, you know, to people's uh, craft, people's mm -hmm. career, people's mm -hmm. craft in general. Mm -hmm. The likes of Bona, mm -hmm. the likes of David, mm -hmm. the likes of so many other people too. <laughs> I know. Which, um, since I've mentioned these two mm -hmm. names, you know, mm -hmm. let the rest too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You want to talk to your Ghana fans? I know so many of them writing about you on our social media Yo, platforms. Talk up, to them what's up, what's before up? you run away. You under I be there for Ghana right now. Uh -huh. eh? <laughs> I be there, but yeah, be there, but call, be there, but call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up, what's up, everyone? Uh, uh -huh. Yonder is in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know on my Instagram, mm -hmm. um, Andul. Mm -hmm. uh, what club is hosting us? So you can come to and let's link up and let's have a get to father. Uh, mm -hmm. Get to get to get that. Get together. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what. That's mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. Have you enjoyed any of our local food yet? I've had all. Uh, wh which one was your favorite? I had Banku, I had um, wow. Wache, I mm. had, you know, I, you know, uh, there's even this one, they put Gary on top of the Wache, uh -huh. you know, I've had all, I've had, um, uh -huh. you know, I was, yeah, you know, I was eating, um, uh -huh. was it? Uh, I was eating uh, Banku, no, not Banku, Fufu, I've had Kenke, I've had Wache, I've had Banku, I've had, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, even the Fufu, I've had Fufu, the Fufu is different from the one we have in Nigeria, yeah, yeah. In Nigeria, Fufu is stirred. <laughs> This one is pounded, you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. You know, I've, I've but but in Ghana we also have the stirred ones, though. It depends on what you want oh, to eat. Yeah. yeah, people stir it. Others also pound. Just that we like the pounded ones because there is sweat in it. <laughs> 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 the third one, right? Yeah, the oh, third yeah. one doesn't have sweat in it. The pounded one, at least, there is some sweat, droplet of sweat in there. Uh, it gives some different energy altogether when you eat them. <laughs> but how, how about the women? Have you gotten some local women? Uh, they have some big back behind. Have you yeah, gotten yeah, one yet? We, we've always know that. You know, yeah. We've always know that. Even back from Nigeria. But yeah, yeah, I'm just, honestly, ever since I've been here, you know. None for you? Pretty much walk, walk, walk. Maybe oh. next week. Are you really working with JMG? <laughs> yeah, of course. And you've not gotten a Ghanaian woman with a big behind? Like JMG? Uh, it's been selfish, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, so say it. Say it like, say it already that the guy has he's, been selfish he's been to selling, you. He's been selling us fish. <laughs> and I'm beefing him. Uh, so he, he, he has been enjoying the loan. He's I'm, not giving you. That, that just say... Uh, okay, how say, long are you staying? I'm sure I can sort you out. How long are you staying? Two weeks more. Oh, uh, this weekend. Let's rock a deal. Yeah, so, uh, so the first... Yeah, this weekend, let's rock a deal. I'll give you some fine, babe. Chop it up, deuces. Yeah. <laughs> 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 